welcome to Math Magic Number Sense. The first activity, you're going to need post-it notes and a marker to play a game called What Makes Me. I used multicolor post-it notes because they're bright and fun, but you can use whatever you have at home. You're going to write numbers 0 to 10 on multicolored post-it notes and put them aside. You'll use these for this game and for the game I'm going to show you afterwards. Next, you're going to write simple math equations that add up to each number. So 0 plus 0 adds up to 0, and so on. Try not to make it so simple as, you know, 2 plus 1 or 5 plus 1. Think of different ways that you can make a number. Um, I'm going to throw a couple of extra in here, so there's going to be more than one way to solve for a number. I like to keep my kids on their toes. The point of these games is to have children practice composing and decomposing numbers. That's what's really at the heart of number sense. They need to know what the number means, how many that means, and that it always remains the same. Children need a lot of practice on composing and decomposing numbers and to learn to know what they are when they see them. These games are great for that practice, so have at it! We'll also use these in the next game, so if after you're done playing with them, keep them aside. I've thrown a couple harder ones in here, so let's see how we go. To set up for the activity, take the stack of numbers from 0 to 10 and post them on the wall. I post them around randomly because I don't want them to be in a line, I want children to be looking for the number. Once you have them all set up, you're ready to go. Time to play What Makes Me. Here's what makes the game fun. After you've done all the numbers on the wall, hide the equations around the house or even better outside and send your kids on a hunt. When they come back with an equation, encourage them to solve it and stick it to the number it belongs to. 5 plus 4 is 9. Continue on this way until you've found all of the equations that you've hidden and all of the sticky note numbers have an equation stuck to them. Now for the second game, Solve and Hunt. This time, stick the equations on the wall in a line or however you want to space them out. I like to put them this way because they're very clear and they're at a child's level. Now, the children have to choose an equation, solve it, and then go hunt for the right number. So let's see, 5 plus 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9! I'm looking for 9! Children will go and hunt for the number, again this is great outside so you get in some active play as well, and bring that number back and stick it to the equation that they've solved. Perfect! Two games, one set of post-it notes. Now for the last game, this is called 10 Frames. We talked a little bit about 10 frames when I was showing you how to make a number line. So for this one, you're going to need painter's tape, some small toys, and one die. Use a big space that you have. The bigger, the better. I'm going to use the floor and lay out a grid on the floor with painter's tape. You're going to want it to be five sections on the top and five on the bottom. That will make 10 squares for the child to use. You can use masking tape or painter's tape. I chose painter's tape because it comes up off the floor without doing any damage to my floor. And you could also do it on a wall, a cabinet, or even a door. You could also take sidewalk chalk outside and draw that. Now gather some toys. Um, my child has a big collection of Littlest Pet Shops, so we're gonna use those as our markers. Um, having something that they really connect with can help them stay engaged in the game a little bit longer. So I'm going to pull some of these out uh, and get ready for the game. Now you need one die. Here it is. You're going to roll it and see what the number is. I have five. So I'm going to represent the number five using the ten frame. One, two, three. 
three, four, five. Keep rolling and using your counters to represent numbers that you get. Thank you for joining me for more math magic. I'll see you again next time. Ona.